Well, welcome everyone. Our topic today is a common sense approach to schizophrenia. All right. Now, um, you, you must understand, first of all, that I am not a doctor. Okay. I do, my academic degree is in, is in engineering from Stanford, so I have a whole different way of looking at the medical profession. However, I have sat in this chair from so for since the 1995, and I've I have seen countless cases where another approach, our approach, has been quite successful in taking care of all kinds of issues. Now, let's take a look at schizophrenia for the moment. Now, I do want to emphasize that this is the kind of thing, this type of issue is so severe for some people, for many people, um, that a layman really shouldn't approach this. This needs, my comments here are really for general interest, but for those who are qualified to to handle and deal with a person with schiz schizophrenia. But there's a lot of things in here that are going to be useful for a lot of different ailments because the same concept is there. And that is schizophrenia and just about anything else you can name, you know, the thousands of med uh, physical ailments we have, the diseases and so on, and the the phobias and the anxieties and so on, they all have a cause. And that's what's important. What is the cause? And with schizophrenia, what is the cause? Now, let's digress just for a moment. I want to uh, show you something. I, I spent some time looking up causes of things on big websites, medical websites like uh, WebMD, and I, I will look up a certain ailment and I will find, well, what is the cause of this? And almost invariably, I find we don't know the cause. I, I see that uh, almost 100 percent of the time. And I got the I looked up one on schizophrenia. And here's what WebMD says. It says, if you know someone with schizophrenia, you probably want to know why they have it. You know, that is you know, what's the cause. The truth is doctors don't know what causes this mental illness, you know, webmd.com. Well, okay, let me get back here to where, where I'm going. Now, I'm going to point out to you a likely cause. And I have right here a letter from someone who is asking me about this sort of thing. Let me read the first paragraph to you, and then I'll, I'll talk about other things going on in here to give you a, a good picture. This person will call... Andy, because you know, a little privacy involved here, it says, Dear Gary, I'm writing this message to help my schizophrenic aunt. We took her to, to so many doctors and tried so many medicines, but none of these were effective for long-term treatment and none helped her to have a normal life again or feeling even a little better. And the disorder just got worse after stopping or changing medications for medical issues. Well, okay. So unless there's something I don't know, um, the medical profession aims at the symptoms. They have some medications to help with, you know, some of the symptoms going on and so forth, but it's not cause. So what's the cause? Well, I find almost invariably, if we can find a emotional traumatic thing somewhere in their past or things it could be more than one in someone's past that that points to something that is now a cause now in conventional psychotherapy this kind of cause this kind of effort at resolving it doesn't go very far um i, I i've yet to see a a doctor or anybody say, oh, 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 go do this or do, say anything other than, well, go, go to a psychotherapist or a psychologist or a psychiatrist or something like that. Um, they don't know what to do about it themselves. And neither, as far as I know, do most psychiatrists, psychologists, etc. They can be very helpful. Yes, 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 yes. But do they get to cause? Now, in this case, we have a clue to what the cause is. Let me read this for you. 
uh, he was talking about about his aunt until such time as what happened. What something happens is my my grandfather, which would be the aunt's father, passed away twenty five years ago, and after the funeral, signs of depression started to show up. Now that's a clue to us. Signs of depression. There's something about the the father in this case passing away, dying. That now brings about depression. We'll get to that in a moment, but let me go on here. And then, after some time, it turns to schizophrenia. And before this disorder, she was so beautiful, but using the medications made her fat and took the beauty from her. And it also goes on to say that it really didn't didn't do much for the actual schizophrenia. Well, let's go take a look at that, just that. Now, do we know for sure that the father passing away is the cause or her response to the father passing away is the cause? No, but, but I've seen over and over and over again, traumatic things like that can set off things that bring about ailments of every kind you can imagine, including schizophrenia, but also you know, cancer, multiple cirrhosis, all kinds of, you know, thousands of medical or physical ailments, anxieties, panic attacks, and phobias, and and the and the like. If we want to get to cause now, since we really don't know if this is actually the cause, there may be other emotional events that are contributing here we don't know until we start getting into it and and while this video is an intro type video uh, you'll find ways to get even more if you if you wish it with the essential links that are down below here you can i have an intro ebook on all of this i have some advanced training i have some you know free newsletter and support for this kind of thing and so on so you can go there so so what would a cause be? Well, okay, just let's just imagine something for the moment. Here is a woman, just like all of us, who as one of her major needs in this world is love. Now, I'm going to speculate here that her father was a major source of love for her. Now, we don't know the whole background. Maybe mother wasn't much there. Maybe mother didn't know how to give love. Other family members, maybe not. We don't know. But father was very likely a source of love. Otherwise, when father passes away, why would she start into depression? Yeah, we have the big clue, lack of love here. Oh, something's wrong. Maybe I'm not lovable. And, you know, it's a cascade of things that can, can occur. So one of the things we do well with EFT and optimal EFT, our spiritually oriented high-end re refinement, is to go back to specific events like the grandfather passing away. And going back to crescendo moments. Oh, she sure first learns of it. She sees something. She sees the, the, the funeral. She sees something in the casket. She, somebody says something. She's reminded of things. And all of these are contributing to the trauma. We can take each one of those, we call them specific events. And we can knock those down. We can take the sting out of those like, like they were a walk around the park. Right? Done properly, that sting leaves. And to the extent it's a cause of the schizophrenia, ah, what happens to the schizophrenia? Or what or any other ailment that may come up. You take care of the cause and, okay. Now, something else that I've seen over time that I suspect happens here is that all of us have our own issues with dealing with this world around us. We have our resentments, we have our angers, we have our fears, we have our griefs, guilts, and so on. And for some people, they can get pretty heavy and um hard to deal with um and wouldn't it be nice to have an escape from some of those things to develop some kind of ailment where now people have to take care of you you got to sit in the wheelchair or you've got you've got schizophrenic type 
personalities. Um, that's an escape. It's an excuse. And I'm not, I'm not criticizing here. It's just what people often do in circumstances like this. We find a way out. But once that cause is taken care of, once all these emotional, this emotional turmoil is put to rest and there's peace there instead of this turmoil and the need to escape as uh, somehow or other walked out the back door. Okay. And, and you have no more cause for schizophrenia or any other ailment. Ah. Ah, where did it go? No cause, no ailment. So while I realize that some listeners here really don't have the skills or background uh, or training in this process to get this job done, I'll emphasize again our, our essential links below. What I wanted to do here was to give you a good insight into all of this so you could at least get started and, and know that there's something else, another approach, other than just the medical approach. So with that in mind, thank you for listening in, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.